Hey guys, it's Devin here, and uh, today, guys, I'm going to be giving you an overview of iOS 4.3 Beta 1 on the iPhone 4 and the iPad. Uh, basically, Apple released iOS 4.3 Beta 1 on uh, Wednesday, uh, January 12th, and um, basically, it brings out a lot of new features. So, a couple of features that you um, will notice on the iPhone 4 uh, would happen to be in settings. Apple introduced uh, a new uh, sale right here with the location services so you don't have to go all the way to general and all that anymore your location services are now on the main screen of the settings also Apple introduced the met in the messaging you'll see that they uh, have options where you can play the alert tone once twice ten times five times or uh, twice okay uh, some more noticeable changes would have to, would have to be in the network uh, in the network, you can now have an option for personal hotspot, which we saw on the Verizon iPhone, which was announced the other day. Uh, you could set up your personal hotspot, and uh, basically that allows you to use your laptop or any other device uh, with your iPhone and use your iPhone as an uh, internet connection. A couple of more options. Uh, I mean, that's pretty much it on the iPhone. Uh, they're a little behind the scene fixes. And uh, oh, yeah, if you go into the App Store and uh, when you get ready to update an app, it's basically a new area. Uh, let's see if I have an update. No, I don't have any updates. But I mean, it's kind of buggy because it's uh, beta one. But I mean, there's no you know noticeable differences there. Let's go ahead and switch over to the iPad and uh, let's find out what's new on the iPad. All right, and here's the Apple iPad. Uh, basically, this is running iOS 4.3 as well. And uh, what's new in this feature is Apple actually introduced the rotation lock back on the side. So if you go into settings. Get a good glimpse here. All right, and in general, now you have an option to let's see if I can get that in there. An option to use the side switch as a rotation lock. So if I lock it now, you see the rotation lock show. And if I select mute, the mute. So basically, you have options now to select which one you want to use. Also, the main thing they introduce is gestures, which is an amazing feature. So basically, uh, instead of actually double tapping the home button to get to your uh, multitasking tray, this is what you do now. So let's say I'm at the home screen. No, I'm actually in so, settings. Alright, so basically here we go. I can swipe. I'm going to another part. And if I'm and, and if I actually want to go to the home screen, I can just do a three finger pinch. No, oh, sorry, four. And now I'm back at the home screen. It's really cool, and you can also do it in landscape. So let's turn the iPad landscape here. Uh, I'm going to go back and I'm gonna go into uh let's say the iPod here. Look at all my music. I want to swipe between another app. We do four fingers. Uh, now I'm in mail. Four fingers again. Now I'm in draw free for iPad and I can start drawing. Swipe again and I'm, you know, pinch and I'm back at the home screen. Gestures are an amazing feature brought out in iOS 4.3 Beta 1. And uh, oh, yeah, and I forgot to mention if you guys want, uh, want to test out iOS 4.3 on your iPhone 4, iPhone 3GS, uh, iPod Touch 4, uh, your iPad, you can uh, check out I iOSactivation.com. Um, it's this website where you can actually register your UDID and uh, on a official developer's account, and you'll be able to get access to all of Apple's betas. Uh, now, think again. Now, you might be wondering, uh, how much is this? Well, guys, I'm running a sale. Uh, for the first 100 people to actually register your UDID with me or with us, you'll receive a two dollar discount so instead of paying the regular seven dollars you'll be paying five dollars to have your device running the latest build of iOS 4 so guys uh, this uh, pretty much a preview of iOS 4 running on both the iPhone 4 and on the Apple iPad and uh, don't forget to check out um, uh, more videos by me and uh, don't forget to follow me on Twitter and subscribe. And check out iOSactivation.com. Links will be in the, the description. Thanks again, and until next time, I'll see you later. Peace.